Hello. So I am here to do my, I could sit here and say everyday makeup routine, but that makes it sound like I have several different makeup routines and I don't. I don't. I have the fastest way possible. One, because I get up really early <laughs> and I'm not an early morning person. I have to get Nash ready and it's just not the most important thing to me anymore. Anymore. Because had you asked me several years ago, um, I would have been like, oh yeah, I do this just to... I, I have a lot of makeup. I do. And um, it's completely unnecessary. And it was just... It, I, I used to be obsessed. But I do like... I'll, I do like makeup. But I just don't I have other important things to spend money on like bills you know um so I, I i do do makeup for people you know what? i'm gonna start doing it um i'm gonna just start and kind of talk through it but i will say that this is just something i do just to get out the door i can do this in <clears throat> like 10 minutes um so it works for me um i okay so just starting out i do moisturize um, I have dry skin depending on the season and the weather. I have very dry skin. So I just, this is just what I put on uh, before makeup and it's just the Pond's Dry, uh, we're not going to focus, here we go, the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. You get it wherever, it lasts forever. Um, in fact, I think I got this from my mom. Um, and I will put everything in the dish description not description but um the post below i just give this a good um oh trash man um give this a good run on my face um i do get really dry okay first of all this camera is making my skin look a lot better than it actually looks like what is happening okay that's a little better view but um like the filter is on this but and i'm here for it but it it really does not look as good it's much more discolored than this looks but um god this looks like i have face tuned hello this is great okay um, um okay and so this primer <clears throat> I use the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Now this is the mini version of it, the travel version. Uh, it comes with a little chip. Um, the <clears throat> the bigger size is quite a bit bigger uh, and it's quite a bit ex more expensive. This little thing though is $22 which is a little crazy and then the bigger one is uh, no 50 something. It's worth it. Um, I just they were out of the big one when I went to get it and I'm in need of one because I don't know if you can tell but um, it's gone. Like there's that little bit left which is what I'm going to use today. Um, so I do take the chip and just fill it up I don't know if you can see the amount that I'm using, but it's minimal. So it goes a long way. Plus, I only put a primer in my T-zone. Uh, so, just rub this in. Okay, foundation. Okay, so I have tan on, which... This video really doesn't show it, um, but it's kind of fading. Anyways, the reason I'm kind of debating about this is because I have an, I have two different foundations, um, which is complete, really unnecessary. I have which, the, okay. So I'll just start with this. Well, this is a ColourPop Pretty Fresh. I have not tried this yet, so this is actually going to be my first day trying it. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that. Um, and then I also have Born This Way from Too Faced, which is the best, the the absolute best foundation 
you can have I did I mention I have dry skin so I really don't know how it would work for oily skin to be honest um but anytime I, I, I love it anytime I you I do people's fel or makeup I use this I just used it on my aunt the other day I, it's the best um so the reason I have two different ones is kind of crazy but um I have one for when I have tan on this one and another one for when I don't um and then and they're very different in price this is like uh with tax everything's gonna be in the 40s this was like 14. it's ColourPop. both got from Ulta if you don't know anything about ColourPop, it's just a really it's a a an affordable brand with great product and if, if you really like colorful makeup you're really gonna like ColourPop. Um, but anyways, I am gonna do ColourPop today because I'm my face my tan is kind of fading. Um, but so I'm gonna try it. But I I may not like it. Um, I may not like it. So this is in color light light eight in. It doesn't really look light, does it? Does it? And this is also a a high hydrolot high hy hyaluronic hmm, hyaluronic tinted moisturizer so i'm i don't really know i am a full coverage person so i don't know i, I don't know how this is gonna how this is gonna do uh but it's dermatologist tested oil free gluten free paraben free vegan tinted moisturizer i ideal for all skin types so that's good uh hyaluronic acid even though I can't say it, it, it is good for uh, moisturizing your skin, keeping it hydrated. And then this has coconut water. So let's try it. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. So what I use to apply my my foundation, um, I have brushes, everything from brushes to um, uh, beauty blenders. I don't use beauty blenders just because I, I get the, um, I don't know, the brand off at Target. Um, I get those and they're like, I don't know, you can get three of those for the price of a beauty blender and they work just as great. So that's what I use, but I have been using, oh, this is the Tati Bull, Blended Bull, Blender Bull, Blendy Bull. Um, I love it. it. You get this one. I'm sure you've heard about this. You get these two, these little puffs. No, that's not straight. Uh, for eighteen dollars, so it's really nice. And I, I can't explain it. I cannot explain it to you how it works. It is just a puff, but it's not a puff. It's not like a powder puff that you would think of. It's just a puff. It's just this thing, and um, it works. It's crazy. Oh. Y'all. Okay, first of all, I'm I'm not as pale as this is making me out. Oh no, to me. Well, it's definitely heavier than I thought. Well, stop talking. Just do it. Really like coverage. It's um. Maybe give it more than two seconds, Carla. Okay, wait. You'll see if it's buildable. If it's buildable, that's fine, right? Dear Lord. I got it. Yeah, so I did obviously, as you saw, um, double up on coverage. Um, uh, well, on, like, I had to build it up. I'm telling you, my skin just does not look this good. But, uh, and you can't tell in here, maybe it's just the lighting, which it probably is. But, um, It's pretty good. Then I'm gonna um, go in with 
my concealer, which is ride or die. Um, it's really dirty. Um, it is my favorite. It's what I have told. If, if anyone asks me what makeup, you know, if they ask me, well, what should I get? What's your favorite? Um, I, I tell them this. Um, it is expensive and what I can, it's like 40 bucks and like I said, old Caroline would have been like $40 on makeup. That's nothing. This Caroline is like, good Lord, relax. Um, however, if it works and it's something I can use and I, I can always, then, I, then I'll spend the money. But this is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. This is in in light one, and um, I really I love the applicator, um, which it's just it's round, so I can really get in on here. I have really 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 dark circles, so concealer is really important to me. Um, I'm getting this everywhere, like messy and again I know this is looking like it takes me hours and it obviously will today but um it usually doesn't they're in the um Uh, the foundation born this way. Oh my god, they go so well together. Oh, it's not it today. So I'm just taking the uh, Blenderful, folding it again. Like here's the foundation part, or here's the foundation part. I'm just folding it and going to the other side. And then just balancing that in, rubbing it in. So moving on to powder. The powder I have now is the Mac Patrick Star powder, which I don't even think you can get anymore. It was all, it was like a collection a long time ago, and I still have the powder. The reason I still have it is because I started using the um, Angel Bell powder from who? I don't know, but I will put it down there. It is my absolute favorite powder. Um, I, it's the first powder I've ever ran out of. It's, I love it. I love, love, love it. Who? Angel Bell. Um, they have the stick foundations that I really like. I can't remember, but I'll put it down here. Anyways, my point is, um, I don't know if you can even get the Patrick Star powder anymore. It is very good. Um, but I don't know if you can get it. But if you can, grab it. So I'm actually going to go in. I use either this Kat Von D. It's the 20 brush. I don't know. It's it. I'm pretty sure it's for powder. But it is the Kat Von D 20 brush. Or I can go. I go in with a smaller uh, Tati Beauty puff. Puffer? Blenderful? Whatever. And, um... Like for under my eyes, I'm just gonna take it and stamp it in there. It's uh, and then just go under my eyes. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna move on to uh, bronzer, and I brought two with me. I say brought because I, I don't do my makeup here, and then I have where I do it, I have a ton, but um. <laughs> I brought these two with me, uh, the Jouer, this is the light to medium duo, compact, <sighs> um, so you can see it has a really nice size mirror, obviously I've, um, hit pan on this one, I use this one though, but it's nice because it obviously has two different colors, so when I'm tan, um, I have one, when I'm not, I have another one. Let me just, also this, when I'm not tan, I'm very pale very pale so uh, i will if like that's too light for me i'll use the hula uh benefit or benefit hula light i've hit pay on that too so i'm just trying to see which one i should use today okay i am gonna do the jouet i'm gonna go in with um sunlight which is this one tap it off this is a morphe y1 brush 
if you have not got anything from Morphe you're missing out, it's the best. So anyways, I'm going to take uh, the brush and just where I did it and just, I just... I start at the cheek, or right under my cheekbone, and um, I'm actually going to use a smear. This is all wonderful. And um, uh, do that, and then I, I kind of go right here, and then work my way. So, let me actually show you. So I work my way down, and then just get this cheekbone, or chin bone. Chin jawline, chin bone. Anywho, okay, so I, I was just telling you that I, I just go in with my bronzer and put it in my crease uh, for eyeshadow, um, just cause, it's time for this. do you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna go in with the, the sun tan which is the darker shade, and just put it in my crease. I but I have been doing and using this product f forever, and I don't even know if they still have it anymore because of, of how long I've used it, and it is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster, um, and I do believe it, it's a shimmer, it's a highlight, oh, oh my gosh, it's a highlight and contour palette. Anyways, as you can see, don't use these two. I use the middle one, and it is a nice gold color that I just take this little finger here, and I just put it on my lid. <laughs> That's it. That's all I do. So, I'm just gonna... Is I go back in with that crease brush that I use with my bronzer and just take or crease shade and just take what's left on there and go over that edge and just kind of buff it out. Currently in the this is the Morphe blush trio in this palette. It has the visionary hot and edgy colors. I go in with the middle the hot now these are very pigmented pigmented um do not go ham okay now if you like a lot of blush that's great but you can get carried away really quickly it's a little goes along like which is great which is great this is a um Jap japan japanesque japan japan i don't know uh brush it just looks like this. I can't tell you. It's a knockoff of the NARS one. But I love it for uh, blush. You can get it. I know you can get it at Ulta. I think I got this one at CVS. Um, there's a hair on it. But I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it for blush. Anyways, I'm literally tapping. That's all. That is it. Um, this brush in here. And then gonna go in and just dust it on my cheeks. I do. No matter what and do. Uh, and just kind of rub it. It just kind of blends everything in. This is the KKW Brightening Powder. This is uh, one. Take this Morphe Y11. Dump it in here, pretty good. And then just stamp, stamp it on. And we're just gonna brighten up that under eye. Absolutely. Okay, I have not used this in so long. Okay, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Palette, or I'm sorry, Glow Kit. Um, I got this when it first came out, which was a few years ago, and they just restocked it. Yeah, I love Nicole Guerrero so much. But anyways, it has these six shades in it. Um, I always use Glow Getter and Forever Young, but, um, you know, it's just so good. It's just, okay, it is the Morphe Y14. 
team. I am going to go in with Forever Young and a little mix of Kitty Cat. So, Kitty Cat and Forever Young. Um, uh, but what I what I do do, and I, this is just to make them a little darker, is I take the Benefit Gimme Brow, and I, I do believe this comes in a bigger package or a bigger like tube. Um, this was just a gift I got for Christmas, a gift set, and I just run this through it. The Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in whatever black. Okay, and then this one, this is the Kat Von D Ultra Ink Liner in Trooper Black. Now, okay, final thing is mascara. I do not wear false lashes. I've only worn them like once in my life. That was on my wedding day. And I've tried, I have them in there, but, but I bought, but I've never done it. Um, cause I just, I can't apply them. My mascara routine is, and I will not change it because I do love this routine a lot. Um, I love these products. I love them together. Um, they're great. Okay, so the first one is the Benefit. I did not realize I had so much Benefit products, but the Benefit Roller Lash. And... This is broke. Well, poop. Anyways, okay. Um, so I do use this for length, and I do it in this order. Cause I'm not done it. If you ever seen the applicator of this, it's very thin. Can you see it? Not gonna focus. Okay, cool. Um, very thin, very thin bristles. It does have a curve, but you can't see it. But anyways, so, um, this is, I use this one for length. And then the second one, which this is the sample size, um, but it is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. And I only use it on the top because I will get it all over my bottom. And I'm not trying to have, like, I just want them to be seen, you know? But this is the applicator for this one. Obviously much, much, much different. And then I give this one for just like thickness. It okay, so, and then finally for <laughs> her gloss, it's making it seem like I just, oh, finally for the gloss, this is just what I use. I don't. I very rarely put lip, lips on and I have a ton to choose from so here's one and then here's and I don't know if you can tell but they're all the same color ridiculous so uh, I, I obviously am a nude lip girl anyways this is the NYX butter gloss it's just a, a gloss what I like about it is it's pretty, for a gloss, it's a good, like, it's not transparent, you know? It gives you good color. But, uh, do one more spritz. In. Okay, so that's it. That's my routine right there. I will be going out like so. Okay, but I did want to show you well, I guess just one other product that, well, I guess ugh, two, three, three. These are really the two I use all the time. And this is the Fenty Beauty. Uh, this is the Kilowatt um, Highlighter Duo. This is in Lightning Dust and for Fire Crystal. Hers, they come with uh, two shades, one like blinding and one that's not. This one is obviously the blinding one and that one's not. Um, so... You know, it has a mirror in it, so it's really nice. And then on, that's obviously going to be kind of, you know, higher end. Um, and then, or the Maybelline Master Chrome, which is really probably better than any of the other ones I just showed you. Um, this one is in 100 Molten Gold. 
uh, uh, hip pan. It's it's so good and it's um, okay. And then uh, high or eyeshadow. Now I don't um, like if I'm really doing something and I'm not just trying to get out the door. I do uh, use a um, you know I, I have a lot of palettes and my my opinion is you just need a palette that has a good crease shade um and, and a shimmer shade that's just what i like to use on my lids and this is the jaclyn hill palette the morphe jaclyn uh, when morphe um y'all i have issues but this is the first one she, she just came out with her second one really obviously dirty and this is like the first version of it because it's like the cardboard kind but um anyways uh, it, it's just a good, uh, I don't know how that black got in the white, but anyways, um, it's just, as you can see though, I haven't used a lot of the colors. There's some, this one I use a lot, uh, actually these three I use a lot. I, I, mm, I use these, these right here I use a lot for the crease, um, and it's just like I did just now where it's, uh, you know, crew shade and a, and a shimmer in the lid and that's it. But, um, obviously if you, you know, you could go crazy with these colors and you also have the, uh, highlight, uh, inner corner highlight in here and, and the brow highlight if you do that or, you know, you can just do everything. So I, I really do think that a Jacqueline or a Jacqueline Hill palette, um, a palette is, is, is smart. And um, you have everything in here. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. If you're on spring break like me, hope you have a good spring break. And we'll see you later. Bye.